Hey, what's going on team? I'm Coach Trevor with LWStrength.com and welcome back to Inside LW, the series where we give you tips and tricks from right here inside the club to increase your fitness performance for both inside and outside of classes. Now, in today's video, we are gonna be highlighting shoulder angles and shoulder placement for our bench press, floor press, and even your traditional chest press with a standard set of dumbbells. Now, this is a cue that some of you guys may have already heard me say. If you've ever heard me tell you guys to think of your elbows at the bottom of a triangle and the head as the top, then this is probably something that you guys may have done in the past. I think it's an important thing to touch on, especially when you start adding weight to the bar. Uh, it's important to be able to activate all the correct muscles and be sure that everything is in line and where it should be to both increase efficiency with your lift and prevent any unnecessary injury uh, to the shoulders and other parts of the body. So we're gonna hop down here and I'm gonna show you guys incorrect placement and something that I see a lot of, especially with just regular dumbbell lifts uh, before we even head to the barbell usually. So we load up the bar. I'm just gonna show you with just a regular bar. And as we lift, normally the elbows tend to come right to the side just like this. So first of all, just holding this bar, there is a ton of tension right on my shoulders right now. So I'm just gonna relax this on my chest here. There's a lot of tension on my shoulders right here, and I'm not feeling this really anywhere else at this point in time. Now, same thing would go if I was using a set of dumbbells. So I would come down and my elbows would be out to the side just like this, and I would be looking at pretty much a straight line right across my body. Now, at this point in time, I would come over to you and I would tell you, lower those elbows just a little bit and think of that triangle. So bottom of the elbows would be the bottom and top of the head will be the top. Now the same thing goes with the barbell and even more importantly with the barbell because we're always gonna have a bit more weight even if you're just using the bar starting off with 35 pounds. So we're gonna start here and same thing goes. So we're here, eyes are in line with my bar. And as I come to lift, my bar is gonna be center of my pec line. And as I come down, my elbows are gonna be at an angle lower. And now right here, I still feel it with my shoulders because I'm pretty low, but as I'm pushing up to the top and back down, I'm utilizing more of my chest in the mix instead of way back here where to get up, there's really not much else involved. Even at the top, you could squeeze as tight as you can you're not gonna feel too much with the chest there. So when I'm thinking about this and adding weight, it becomes a lot more important because you wanna be able to have a mind-muscle connection when you're adding weight and you're trying to go heavier, uh, or even in general, if you're thinking about shoulder injury or shoulder impingement, uh, that becomes just that much more important. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, if you ever hear me talking about that triangle coming up and back, that's what I mean. 